Hello, I'm going to show you how to create a histogram using the midpoints from your intervals. Um, to calculate the midpoint, what you do is you're going to subtract the upper boundary, you're going to subtract the lower boundary from the upper boundary. So, for example, if we look at our first class or our first interval, this will be 14 minus 10 we get 4. The, we then take 4 and divide it by 2 and we get 2. I'm going to take that 2 and I'm going to add it to each one of these uh, lower boundaries. So 10 plus 2 will be 12. 14 plus 2 will be 16 and so on. 18 plus 2 is 20. This will be 24 and this would be 28. So these are my midpoints. And we're going to use the midpoints and the frequencies to make our uh, histogram. So let's see if I can share my screen with you. Okay, just a second. Okay, I think you guys can see that. So now, as you can see, I, I've already made up my Excel um, chart. So I put the midpoints in uh, column A, and I put the frequency, the corresponding frequencies in column B. So what we are going to do is we are going to go to insert and we're going to go to column oh you know what the first thing I need to do is I need to highlight the frequencies that's what you should do first I'm sorry highlight the frequencies and we're going to go to insert column the first one is cluster column and I get my histogram now it looks like a bar chart but uh we're going to uh, edit this a little bit. So I'm going to right click on one of the bars and I'm going to go to select data and then I'm going to go to edit. Oh, did it come up? Hello? Let's see, did it come up? What happened to it? It didn't work. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> go to select data. We're going to hit edit. Okay, there we go. It says axis labels. So now I'm going to highlight the column in which my midpoints are in. So I'm going to click on uh, A2 all the way down to A6. And I hit OK. And as you can see, these numbers come up in this box here, where it says horizontal category axis labels. You see my you see my midpoints. So I hit OK, and now you have your midpoints at the bottom of your histogram. So this will be considered uh, a histogram using the midpoints. And you can find this information on page 84, um, and your textbook is at the bottom. So now I'm going to clean this up any more, even more. I'm going to um, double click on one of the bars and you get format data series and it says gap. What we're going to do is we're going to close the gaps up. So I'm just going to push this bar all the way down to zero. And then I hit close and as you can see I no longer have gaps. So this is my histogram. Now when you do your histogram, uh, when you do your, uh, let me stop sharing just a second. <clears throat> For your uh, intervals, I believe yours start from 20 to 25. I'm just going to bring this down here. Um, let me see if I get a whiteboard. 
Okay. Your first class was 20 to 25. So for the midpoint for that, you're going to take 25 minus 20. You're going to get 5. You're going to divide that by 2. You're going to get 2.5. You're going to take that and you're going to add it to each one of the lower boundaries. So your midpoint for your first interval would be 20 plus 2.5. This would give you 22.5. And you're going to go on and on for each one of those intervals. So you're going to have uh, a decimal for your midpoints. Okay, I hope that helps.